This is going to be a blockbuster right here. It's going to be a blockbuster. Cynthia G, Tyreek Nasheed, The Elder Truth 1948, The Real Deal, Reg the Bad Guy, CT Temptation, Conscious Effect, Mr. Donnie 908, uh, uh, I think I just said Ray the Bad Guy. Oh, 411 Talks on Radio. Uh, T Love. I think her name is T Love. Matter of fact, once I get finished with all these videos, I'm going to probably put her, put her as the headliner. And uh, Sophia, what's that? Sophia A. Nelson. This is going to be a blockbuster. Let's talk about Sophia. You know, early, you know, it had passed on, you know, it had died down, this Civil War and this hit list stuff. You women that got that go like that, don't even don't even get it started because it's not it's not a bashing video. This, the sister is a I like I, I really I commend this sister she's a smart intelligent black woman okay she is a uh, she work in the justice system she's a lawyer or something like that I mean I think she's a author too I think she written she wrote some books I don't know I had to really do some more research on it but I watch her on YouTube time to time no, she talk about the issues when it comes to melanated brothers and sisters, but I'm gonna use her head as a I'm gonna put her on a pedestal as an example, okay? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take this in another in another uh, definition, if you will, or another pattern, if you will. Now, this lady is very intelligent, articulate, melanated sister, okay? A lot of brothers, unfortunately, are intimidated. A lot of brothers are jealous of women like her that's in her position and status. Oh, yeah. To me, a younger man, you know, very attractive. You know, I like, I, you know, she cute. You know, very attractive woman to me. Coming from a younger man, I don't got no problem with the old. I ain't gonna say old. Let, let, let me refrain from that. I don't got no problem with because she's not old. She looks very good for her age. Matter of fact, very, very goddamn good. I have no problem with women that's older than me. You know, you know, isn't for the isn't for the young 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 men out here. Some of them old women. Some of them old old. Not old woman, some of them old, old, call them, you call the dudes onk and OG. Some of those, how would I call them? They call them milfs and all that. I don't, I don't even like to even use that word because it sounds sleazy. Uh, how would I put it? Season. Some of these season, season sisters, man. They season, you know, they, they well, they well kept and they, and, and, and they, and they learned the right way. So, the people who taught them when they was coming up, they learned the right way. I'm talking one. The, I'm talking about the ones that was older than me. Oh yeah, I met, you know, yeah, yeah Can't Ross, you know, ain't no. It's just a little bit of bragging, right? It had a, you know, I had a couple older sisters show me the ropes. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. It might not last, but once you, once they get, once you, once they get done with you, because that's what they doing. You ain't get done with them. They getting done with you. Once they get done with you, you gonna learn something as a as a young Negro man, you know. And I appreciate that. You know, I've been with some older sisters, you know, done the damn thing, you know, you know, mount, you know, put the mount on them, mount, you know, you know, it ain't no shame in my game. I go ahead, went on, mounting them up, you know, done that little thing, wine, you know. Put that forward in blunt away, young boy. We don't, we don't do this up in here. Like, what y'all? They bring it, you know. They bring out the wine, playing the oldies. And take it slow. You don't gotta, 
You know? They teach you, man. They teach you. Older women will teach you some knowledge. It's like the opposite sex. The OGs, but once you get an older lady that's attracted to you brothers, you young brothers, sometimes, take heed from me, sometimes that might be a blessing because they might teach you some stuff and prepare you when you when you when you come up, you know, when you get up in age and when you get more mature, because usually and, and it's funny like that. When the when the older ladies came in my life, I was man, I I was way younger than this. You know what I'm saying? Way younger. And they was way older, you know. My last one was like, yeah. 20 years older than me practically yeah 20 years older she was 20 years my my uh my senior you know she was 20 years older i mean if i'm saying it right yeah 20 yeah not my senior whatever she was 20 years older okay let's put it like that um and i learned from that man and you got to move on Everything is a learning experience. That's what I'm trying to get down to y'all. Young, you young G's out here. You know? And when it comes to Sophia Nelson, she's a seasoned black woman, attractive. Got her head on her shoulders. You know? Talking about various topics. And, um... I don't see nothing wrong with the system. You know? My thing is this, we, sometimes you gotta go through hell and high water and, and, and wars and gender wars for the calm and the, st you know, the calm and the storm, you know, then the calm and the, st the storm come, but you gotta get through that storm and then bring the calm, you know what I'm saying? I mean, all the stuff that's been happening is totally, it doesn't, it, it doesn't help family, you know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of dudes, that, it's a lot of men that's jealous of women's success. You want to talk about some simps, and that's a simp. You jealous of a woman, and you're a man. You can get the same thing or better if you apply yourself, brothers. But, sit, but sitting up on social media getting mad at a woman that took the time to get to schooling and all that and get something up in her cranium instead of jumping on a stripping pole in her younger age and, and scallywagging around and depending on a man to to pamper her all through her life and she walking around barefoot and pregnant and, and dumb as a damn a church bell nah not say church bell dumb as a bell no disrespect to the church gotta refrain for that but you know what I'm saying y'all catch what I'm saying No, I well, I I'd rather have an educated sister than an ignorant sister, cause if you got an ignorant woman, she do ignorant things, and ignorant things can lead on to some, spill on to something else, cause ignorance cause other things that's detrimental in a relationships. If you ignorant, that means you can do you can make mistakes, you can get conned for your finances, or stuff can get violent because you don't have the wisdom and understanding and observance to be wise because you're ignorant who wants an ignorant person who wants a people who want a person that's not educated if you're not educated you cannot persevere if you're not educated you can't make it to the next level if you're not educated you're going to be stagnated so this woman should wake you up you jealous black man that's why i'm using her as an example because there's a lot of black men are jealous of these kind of women I mean, these women, excuse me, add, you know, like Sophia A. Nelson, man, they're jealous of these kind of women because they're successful. The Ivy League sisters, and Valedictorians, and sorority sisters, the ones that's, that, that, that's driving the Bentley, the ones that can buy a house paid in full, you know. But, black man, it's catch 22. Hear me out. Y'all busy up here fighting Negroes like me. You gotta listen to my videos. 
Now, let me tell you something why these things keep happening and these black women are deciding to do certain things. Because we keep on getting locked up. We keep on being jealous. That jealousy, man, especially here on YouTube, these guys are really, they are so hateful and they're jealous of other men's commentary. And what is so perplexing about that, you will, you will probably... You'll probably never meet these men in your goddamn life. So what is your issue, homie? If you don't like someone's commentary, look at it. What I do when I see some people talk, like when I see men talking in garbage and it's not floating my my my, my narrative or ideology or my concept, I just leave their channel. I don't go back and forth with them. I don't know these dang on people. I know that commentary don't sound good, so I roll, I bounce, and, and go to another channel that apply to me. And I mean, y'all make this thing hard. So you wonder why some of these women, because they get fed up, bro. Some of them just give up, and they say, "Well, the black, you know, there's some of them just give up on us and go to the next best option. That is another race." Because some sisters just can't take it no more. So in order for the black women to gain, as the majority of black women to gain respect for us again, black men, we got to stop engaging in this, this dysfunctional behavior we, we engage in. You know? Because all, all I see is people keep pointing the finger at each other. You know what I'm saying? Alpha males, you got to speak. You going to do these videos? You got to do them right. You got to do the videos right, family. You got to speak. You got to speak. You got to speak to these people right. You can't be out here lie gagging around and lie, lie, lie. I tell you straight. If you don't like what I say, you know what you can do. Bounce. A real, a real, a real black woman don't want no sissy-fied black man. Okay, a real sister that respect men and know what men know what men is all about as a black woman. She don't want no. She want a thoroughbred black man. She want a black man that's thorough, that handle business, that know what it is to be a man to take care of the household. Oh yeah, a black woman will be submissive to you and respect you as a mate. But if you ain't living the biblical way as a black man and living up to your position as a black man in the household having a family having kids if you ain't living up to that position if you ain't taking a stand it's not gonna work that's why it's better for you as black dudes out here to be single that's why i keep on making videos like this don't don't set yourself up if you don't have those qualities you shouldn't my advice to you don't even think about getting in a relationship not a serious one and you gotta and that woman gotta have understanding and you got to be honest. Tell that woman where you at in your life. And she can't handle the policies. Well, that's it. Don't get up, don't get up in there and lie because you want the cush bush. You want, you want the nappy dugout. Yeah, she might give it to you anyway. But once she find out you lying, you're going you to set yourself up for a bad fall, man. So it's better. Honesty is the best policy. Let the woman know what's up. You know, this is where you're at in your life. If she can't handle it, that's it. You save yourself a lot of heartache. You know, you, you get you get you get on that last crap, you're gonna be in trouble in the long run. My thing is this, family. You black men, black women. That's the thing. Rules, all rules, dogma, spiritual, angels, the one you know, the the entity that created us, the Most High. The heavenly bodies and everything. You know, he decided to create mankind. Let me tell you something, fam. Let me tell you something. Don't respect the marriage institution. You're done. You don't know what it is to be a man. You don't know what it is to be a man. You're done. You don't know what it is to be a woman, you're done. And everything fails at the end of the day.
okay? Certain things was put in place long, long time ago. And they're still in place. And, and those who go against those rules, those who don't follow those rules, come to ruin. Civilizations in the past came to ruin simply because they went against the grain and didn't follow the Ten Commandments. You, you ever notice since, since they, you know, the schools used to have the Ten Commandments in the schools, you ever notice, every, you know, when they took those Ten, Command, Ten Commandments out, excuse me, when they took those dogmas out, morals and dogmas, as far as the Ten Commandments, when they took them out the school system, ever since then the school system went down to that's right never been right since they took prayer out of school, never been right since right after that, what do you have? your columbines, your school shootings uh, kids getting, uh, getting live streaming on the internet you know, young girls doing filetto behind the school and all that, getting caught on camera getting streamed live and all that oh, I'm hep, I'm hep been here. Schools, little Pompeys and Sodom and Garons. Ever since they took the the, the 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 security, the spiritual security off the schools, you know what I'm saying? They took that off the schools, family. They took the, they took the, they, they 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 cut out prayer. They cut out the Ten Commandments, and they and they they lifted they lifted the guard. You know, they got rid of the guard, meaning the spiritual guard. The, you know, the guard. You know, the helping hands of the entities was old school system. But when they cut that out, all all out attack from the demonic angelic host, which is the which is the fallen angels, and Lucifer himself. And that's why our school system's been going down ever since. So it is what is it. It is what is it. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is what it is, family. And I'm out.